Good morning, beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I wanted to say thank you, thank you for the response to my giveaway. And I'm so excited. Congratulations to all the winners. Um, everybody has answered me back, so I'm just going to email everybody back, let them know what they've won, and we're going to get them shipped out. So, I just wanted to show you some things that were dried. Now, um, this is my latest Fiona's um, flower. Pretty cool. Now, she did give me a little tip on this video that I might not be pouring enough paint next time. <laughs> and I wanted to show you the dry results. I have to say that this has to be, to date, my favorite painting. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can really see, but I'm going to try and find a spot where it is. Like, it's all through it. Like, I'm going to show you close here. Remember I was saying the um, glam dust from... Um, Oh my goodness, I can't find it. Oh, there's one. The Deco Art Glam Dusts, when they dry, they're just gorgeous. So I'm gonna bring it up and show you. I don't know if it, it does it any justice. Maybe what I'll do is I'll flip you down and you can see a better idea. And also, uh, I did not pre-paint my corners, my edges. So this is what happens because the paint is sometimes transparent, your canvas is white, as where when you are using a white base and the canvas is white, you don't need to base coat the side. So, with that being said, I have to do uh, one or two little coats on the edges. And because I'm in love with this, it's gonna get resin on top. I'm excited. Maybe I'll do a video on showing you how I'm gonna resin it, so. But I'll bring you down and I'll see if I, if that shows up a little better. But today's, we're going to do a um, bling bling. Um, I'm experimenting for my classes that I'm teaching. So I'm gonna do it with Mod Podge. I have to paint them because you're not gonna wanna be spray painting and all that fun stuff. So I need to figure out um, some time lengths and things like that. So we're gonna play around with painting the canvas and doing the Mod Podge. Um, try to rectify it a little better. Um, I also purchased um, clear sealant. So that might be, once we're done, I'll get them to put that on top. So anyways, I'm gonna bring it down and let you look at this. Maybe you can see it a little better with it laying flat, because you get the, I was gonna say you get the sun, you get the beautiful lights on it. All right. Let me find a corner here. Well, it's like everywhere. Look at, like, look at this. Like, look at, uh, no, I can't get you in there because you're too, but look at how that turned out. Like that, that was my favorite part in this painting. Okay, so let's find, and of course, I'm just trying to find it. Okay, here, let's see. I don't know if you can see it, but right here. That's where it was on the white. But just that iridescent, like all of that sparkly is that um, glam dust. So with that being said, enough of that. Let's get down to work. I ran out of gloves. I now have black ones. I've never had black ones before, so it's kind of cool. I'm going to bring you up a little and down just so that you get a little closer. Perfect. Bring you this way. Maybe I'll bring you this way. There. Perfect. So anyways, so I'm going to put my gloves on. Ooh, they look funky. Um, I'm going to base coat it half with my Acrylic Flow Silver. Which, to me, this is good money like good for your money because it's 
silver. It's nice. I quite enjoy this one. And I think it's is it seven nine twelve ninety nine for the big one, which is to me reasonable. And these ones you can use the coupon, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna squirt a little bit on my plate, and I'm gonna base the other half with Peblio Studios um, iridescent. A blue green that's a pretty color I thought that would be pretty I'm gonna put that on the other side and I'm just using dollar store foam brushes so I wasn't sure I bought cheapy um, roller brushes as well so we'll see I might for the class we might change it up we'll see but for the glitters, I bought these for my classes just because I don't want to use my $30 glitters. And these are pretty, pretty good for the price. So I thought I'd give those a shot. And because I'm not going to use the Chunky, because I know the Mod Podge probably won't hold it, I'm going to use the uh, Rec Collections. Um, Vintage Silver. This one is glass glitter. So we'll use that in it. And then I'm going to use my um, Recollections um, Fine Glitter. This one is Bling Bling. So with that being said, let's get at some painting. I think fall is here. Oh my goodness. I'm just... Ugh. What I'm doing is I'm, I eyeball, so I'm going to eyeball half, so we're going to go like this, just to give it a line. And I don't want to do heavy coats because we kind of want this to dry quick, right? Being that we're in a class, so I'm going to get my edges. You probably don't really need to see this. So all my friends probably know how to do this. But I just thought that with um, having to experiment, I just thought I'd take you for the journey. There you go. So probably have to do, I'm going to say two thin coats. And you don't want a line, so. Yes. So our trailer season is ending, which is, I don't know, it's nice. I, I'm a fall girl, so I would rather sit in the, uh, sit outside in the cold because <laughs> my theory is you can always put a sweater on and you can only get so naked when you're too hot so which would be scary oh and I'm also so excited um I don't have a scale at the trailer and I don't know if you guys have if I've mentioned it or not before, but um, in 2000 and it'll be three years. So 2017, I hurt myself at work and um, I have put weight on. I've And it's my shoulder that I hurt. So I ended up, you get depressed, you get dumpy and all that fun stuff that goes along with everything. And last year in, in November, I thought I'm done feeling like crap. Um, I've dieted, I've yo-yoed my whole life, basically. And I thought, oh, well, this is it, I'm done. I'm not playing anymore. So I jumped on my scales today and I actually, I am down 60 pounds since November, which I'm excited about that. So. With this, I'm going to mention, if there's a line, like the spray paint, 
it doesn't much really matter. Just come back, not overly heavy, but just come back so that with your glitter and your glass or the fine glass, come back on that line. Give it a little extra there. Just because that way it's not going to need to be so particular. All right, I'm going to do the sides again first. Oh, this one might only need one coat. It's a nicer consistency. And this side. Sorry if you're not in my... Let's see, we're just doing the sides. other side so I'm kind of excited about the class a little bit nervous I've taught various things but uh, not this type of thing so it's kind of neat there we go just a thin coat Actually, that's not quite even, but you know what? That don't matter. Like I said, we're here to have a little bit of fun. You know what? You might not even need a second coat on that, but it all depends on, I guess, what we're going for, right? And I'll bring my blow dryer so they can probably blow dry it in between. Like whoever's done first can. Let me just do this this way first. Yeah, I think that'll work. Some people were commenting that they, was I sure I wanted to teach the bling blings? Because then people will be making them. But my thoughts are, there's thousands of people out there that are subscribed to me that are making my bling blings. So it won't much matter, my thoughts. Oops, I'm going to move my cup there. I went over here, that doesn't matter. Like I said, you're gonna cover all of this. So. You just wanna make sure when you get that base down that you give it all a one good, a good coat so that your lines are going the same way. Easy, no much, not much pressure just so that the lines actually you know what I kind of like this streaky and you know I've noticed with some of these paints that if you don't let it dry and you try to do a second coat before it's dry, then um, it just it just peels off. I'm just touching up the edges so that there's not a, a line. There. Now we're just going to give that a few minutes, and hopefully. We'll see. Oh, I never thought. Well, I guess I'll have my video. I was going to say, I was going to time it to see how long it took. Well, let's see if we can do a second coat already. I'm a rebel. All right. I'm a righty, so I'm going to pick this up and flip it around so I can get at it this way. All right.
put it down. Put it down. Sorry, so you can see it. Oh, I think this will work. By the time you paint one, the other one might be dry if you do a thin enough coat. Yeah, see. I'm just going to load the paint on and then just give it a good I kind of like that wispiness, wispiness to it compared to the spray can yeah see this needed to dry a little more impatient cherry so I'm just going to load it up with some more paint and then we'll let it dry. So it's a two hour class. So hopefully as long as we can get this part dry within a reasonable time, I think we'll be good. And just a quick little, just because you don't want that little definite line on the edges. Actually, you know what? I kind of like that. <sighs> what did I say? The more you touch it, the more it comes off. And of course, Sherry had to touch it. There. We'll leave it. All right, my fingers are in there. All righty, let's just do another quick coat on this side. We'll do quick. Actually, you know what? I so like that wispiness. I'm gonna put some more paint on my thing here. And then what I'm gonna do is Gonna let it dry completely and I'm gonna leave it wispy because I actually like I said quite like I'm having a hard time I don't know if I should give them color options or just do one straight color and then they can go home and play I don't know what have I got here a hair quick 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 like a bunny there we go Yeah, I think, I think one color will be good. And then, um, because this one here is a different, uh, there's drying steps to this one, as where when I do the Dutch pour in the class, it's not gonna be a dry. There, just make sure the lines are straight. Actually, I quite like that. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I will put you on pause. I'm going to flip this over Oops. on this so it don't dry out on me. And I'll come back when it's dry. We're going to give it about 10, 15 minutes. I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, I'm back. I let it dry for a good 15 minutes. And what I did was I just did another, oh, I'm sorry, you're out of the frame. I just did one quick little um, run along the edges and that's it. I am not gonna touch it. I actually, I quite like the idea of it being um, wispy, that kind of thing. So I think that's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna use this Mod Podge. This one is glossy and 
I am going to do a thicker coat. Last time when I did it, some of you suggested that maybe I didn't put thick enough coat on. So I put it in this little uh, cup. I'm going to use my sponge and we are just going to cake it on. And as you can see, I'm going extremely heavy down the middle. Still sticking with that same concept of you don't need it on the edging, but it's whatever everybody wants to do. So I'm going quite thick because I want to actually, some people were saying they were able to um, put some of the broken glass in. So I might actually try it. We'll see. So get a nice thick coat. And let's get at some wisps. We'll go. And dip in. Because I want to leave that in there. That thickness. I want to see if we can get. I might do is just pour some right back down the center. What I'm going to do is just pour this down the center. Oops. And hope see just do a little few wispies just to and you don't want to you kind of want to work fast here I think all right so with that being said I'm actually going to try the, the glass I know this works, but we're going to try the glass. Just a very thin layer. And do just a I guess maybe I hastily tried it before because I preferred the resin, but. And at the end of this, I have an option to show you. So I will show you what I was thinking. Okay, so I pulled it out. I'm gonna try some of my Martha. I might let them try a little bit. Just look at that, oh my gosh. All right, up high. So you don't get those big just a blob come down to the ends and it's nice to get the contrasting color on the contrasting does that make sense it's nice to get the the silver on the green and the green on the silver there that's enough of Martha Put Martha away. All right, we're gonna do this. Oh, I haven't opened it yet. So these are the ones from um, Michaels, and they're actually in the kids section, and it's not a bad price. I think they were 
sorry, $5.99. I just need to open up this little and hope I don't break it. Sorry, guys. Forget it. We're just going to pop this here. And let me see if I can get this out. There we go. They don't make things easy to get into. My goodness gracious. Like, look at that. That's just craziness. Well, we'll see how much glitter comes out. I don't want it to come out fast anyway, so. So I'm gonna put it on one hole and go this way, up high. Oh, that's actually quite a pretty color. Actually looks like ice crystals all right and then we'll come back with my spinet just a little and I hope where the white is that it's not gonna it should be clear I hope we're gonna come back with the fine bling the recollections and this I'm gonna try to I don't want empty spots where there's just gonna be there we're gonna leave it and we're gonna see what happens and I hope hope the glass works and actually you don't use the whole lot at least I didn't anyway I'm gonna show you my other option if you do not like to use resin when I started doing all of this back into painting stuff I took a class out of Kingston with this stuff it's called liquid glass I have a video because people were using it well, it's called pouring medium, but people were using it kind of like flow troll, which I guess you could, but it dries like resin. So when I took this class with these two beautiful ladies, um, it was like a flip cup. So this is what I did. So that is, you need no paint or sorry, no varnish, no nothing. It acts like a resin, like it's, it's there. This is two years, so it's it's quite there. So I was, didn't know why I couldn't use it in this. There's um, no mixing, it's one part. So I put some in a squeeze bottle. So I might experiment with that in another video because that might be an option. And I bought this big jug, but you don't need one that big if all you're gonna use it for is these bling bling paintings because they also come this one is a white colored but they also come in different sizes and realistically you might use an ounce in this one painting so we'll have to play around and see on that and I'll keep you updated so anyways I'll let you go I'll let this dry and we will come back and hopefully my bling bling is good. We'll see you in a bit. All right, we're back. I'm gonna shake it off. It actually adhered pretty good. My only thing is with doing this with my class is it sat for hours. And that has, that is in there. I'm impressed actually. I was too hasty the last time. And I like the idea with this, uh, with these paints where you can, it's, they're wispy.
it's not a full 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 coverage now I'm gonna bring it up and show you so this was with the resin and then this was the other Mod Podge one so I'm thinking let's go this way because you can see it better you can see both I am thinking that let me bring you up so you can see a little better maybe there you go I am thinking that it's actually not bad so I had bought yeah actually that's not bad I bought um, this aerosol Mod Podge coat so I will give that a spray and yeah so I think that'll work for my classes I'm excited so with that being said I will let you guys go we'll give this a spray I'll take it outside and give that a spray and yeah I'm excited now I just need people to sign up for the class I'm ready to go Oh, uh, there you go. So if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell in there somewhere. So you get notifications when I put up my next video. And yeah, tell all your friends. Hope you have all a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye.